Welcome to Keep Left, your all car guide to all things cars for you car lovers and non lovers. Maybe we can turn you into car lovers. Guess what? Today we have there Prado J150. Cue the music. I'm sure you want to see more of the car rather than seeing me. Guess what? I won't disappoint. Follow me. The car boasts of a very lovely interior, beige interior, and loads of room for all sizes of people. And guess what? That's it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot. There is more beige work at the back and more room for all sizes of people. Now, that's it. Traditionally, this is the point where I would take out a huge sheet talking about this car has this and that, what size of engine, what transmission, what size of tires, what it does in different terrains, but I won't do that. There are two things that matter when it comes to buying a big car. And I'll tell you, because you're my friend. One, how it makes you feel. Two, how it looks. And that's it. You know, when I was talking to the owner of this car, and I put him through a very rigorous interview to understand why he bought the car and how it performs. I noticed two things. One, he, he didn't know. <laughs> and secondly, he didn't care. All that mattered to him was, it's a big car. The Prado J150 will dent your pocket to the tune of between three to four million, depending on the trim levels. And uh, those are the questions that you need to be asking, not the fuel consumption of this humongous car. Now, to prove to you that, let's take a drive. This is why I say the fuel consumption of uh, the Prado doesn't really matter. If you are willing to part away with more than 3 million shillings to buy a car, then the fuel consumption of the car should not be the issue. It should be how the car makes you feel. To be honest, this is the sort of car that opens doors for you. This is the car that gets you into the gate of those secret society. This is the car that makes you get noticed. And to be honest, it's actually a very good place to be. It's very spacious. It handles well. <laughs> and the, the right height is actually very, very nice. It, it, it makes you feel big. <laughs> uh, it, it, not to say that uh, I'm small. It makes you feel big and, and important. And, and when I was talking to the owner, that is what came out. It is important that you drive the Prado. Not to say that it's the biggest car that exists outside there. But it is the car that gets you there. Uphill. Yeah. The car has enough power to take you up here. And it's not like I'm pressing the throttle so much. Just adequately. Just like normal driving condition. That, and basically that is what a, a, a 4x4 does for you. A normal saloon or a, a normal sedan would it, you'd have to give it more power for it to go up the hill just like we did. But we've done it effortlessly. Yeah, we are coming across some more rain. And there's a big river. Look, the small car is drowning. The small car is drowning. But don't worry, small car. I shall not drown on your behalf. I shall crush the waters and conquer the waters. Waters, I conquer you. <laughs> Conquered. The rain is falling, but we are in a 4x4, so we are not phased. We shall crush the rain. <laughs> ah. 4x4, four four, man and us. Let's do this. Where are you, Rain? <laughs> All those people who wanted 4x4 four four action and outdoor action, this is it. It doesn't get better than this. Fighting the rain on the streets of Nairobi. Where are you, Rain? I fight you. Ah. <laughs> I am scapping on you, Rain. I am crushing you with my big 4x4 four four wheels and my, my gearbox and my very good 2.7 liter engine that is not phased or feels anything. Come, Rain, come. Sunshine, actually, come rain. 
Whereas I wanted to give you an in-depth view into the J120, the rain had more plans than we could, but we still give you something to think about. Whereas you might be thinking to buy the J150 probably to do some off-road uh, in, in, your, in your journeys, it really won't be the reason why you buy the car. If you wanted to go off-road maybe up country, that will be like 1% of your time. The most use that you'll get out of this car will probably be town running. And I'm sure you're not buying a car for more than 3 million just to run it in the town. Just for other purposes. And as I said, it is to get you into that door, into that deal, into those conversations that really matter and add the size of your pocket. So what am I going on about? What I'm trying to say is the Prado J150 is, in my opinion, a very sensible car if you want a big car. The Prado J150 is the type of car that will not stall in the middle of the road and you'll be stuck there trying to get assistance because they are very reliable. They are cars that go on and on and on. In fact, this is a sort of total reliability that we talk about. And that's what you need from a 4x4. So, if you're in the market looking for a 4x4, ta-da! Prado J150. There are more candidates, but you'll never go wrong with a Prado J150. Be it the petrol model or the diesel model. They all achieve the same thing, which is provenance. <laughs>